Okay, welcome back to another HTML5 basics video. In this video, I'm going to cover unordered lists. Now, an unordered list is a list with bullet points. Um, and you might be wondering why unordered lists would be a part of this course. It is a part of HTML, uh, but we have actually adapted unordered lists uh, for many different purposes within uh, HTML. The one purpose is obviously to create a bulleted list, but more than that, we use unordered lists to create menus. Uh, so many of the, the header bar or navigation bar menus that you see are created with an unordered list. Um, so people even create uh, grids, so a grid of elements in on the page uh, using an unordered, unordered list. So they actually hold a very uh, a really important uh, place in HTML and in web design. So let's get in. I'll teach you the structure of the unordered list. So first we start with the uh, UL tag. So we have unordered list and then we'll close it with the UL. And so we open and close the unordered list and this this little tag here is going to be a container for all of our list items. So this tells the browser uh, whatever comes in between these two things is going to be um, need a bullet uh, attached to it. And then for each of the list items, we just we put in li and then we end that item with an li, just like that. And you can see here that it's already created uh, a little bullet point. So can do something like that where you put your plain text in between and then you would come down and then you would wrap item 2 and let's go ahead and do item 3 okay and that's as easy as it is uh, to create an unordered list. So you can see here uh, that this is actually an unordered list. And if we were to um, if we were to do something like wrap this in let's call it an anchor tag, which I'll be covering anchor tags more fully in something else in another video. then you can see that this is actually a link. So um, you can see how we could quickly turn this into a menu. And if we get rid of the bullet points and then we line them up uh, horizontally, which we can do with CSS, um, then we can quickly turn this uh, on order list into a navigation element. So that's uh, one of the reasons. And I, I've heard that it's more semantic and easier for accessibility purposes, like for uh, browsers that have screen readers. <clears throat> if we use unordered lists, then um, they are able to get through uh, using the tab key. They're able to get through the uh, through the list better and easier than if we use some other separating element like a p tag or something like that. Okay, so this is the unordered list. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see something else, um, I'm always open to suggestions about, at this point, what you would like to see. Uh, there are more videos inside the HTML5 Basics playlist. So I encourage you to go through them all. And uh, just we are building out. We are building up so that we can uh, build out a page, um, a one-page website using all of these techniques that I'm showing you. So I'm showing you the things that you're going to need in order to create that project. And from that project, you'll be able to create a multi-page website uh, pretty easily as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.